Hi there, Rob Power here again from Power Learning Solutions with a, another video in my series on creating your own courses using the Canvas Free for Teachers Learning Management System. In a couple of earlier videos in this series, I showed how to use release conditions for modules to set up differentiated pathways. And I also showed how to integrate uh, Badger badges, digital badges, into your courses for differentiated pathways and to uh, give some awards to your students. Well, I had a uh, recent question from one of my instructional design students who has run into some issues where it looks like the Badger integration is no longer available under the apps section in your course settings in Canvas. Uh, Canvas Instructor has uh, updated uh, some other features. Uh, Badger is now uh, renamed to Canvas Badges, and it looks like it may not be readily available under Canvas Free for Teachers. It's an API that your institution would need to install. So in this video, I'm going to take a look at a different way that you can give awards to your students within your Canvas Free for Teachers course without needing that digital badges API and uh, the actual integration of that feature. And we're going to use uh, the modules area and release conditions to do that. Okay, so I have uh, one of my sample courses, uh, a sandbox course that I set up open here. And if I go to my modules area, you can see the content that I already have for this uh, pilot module. I've got all my getting started materials and course readings and resources, assignments, all that kind of stuff. I also have uh, a module set up for week one, which would be uh, my pilot module in this case, if you're working on uh, a pilot project for one of my courses, or it could be uh, one of your weekly modules. I also have some uh, lessons set up down here under a different module, just a different way of organizing things. And you'll notice that under my week one sample module, I have a digital accessibility basics for educators quiz. There's three questions in it. They're pretty, uh, pretty straightforward questions, just set up as a demo for our purposes. And I have another module here called Claim Your Badge or Certificate. So I have two options available. Uh, you can let students uh, just see what the badge would look like and let them know that in an institutional version of the course, in the full live implementation, you would use the ca uh, Canvas Badges integration to award this badge but they could just download the image here now for, uh, for your pilot testing purposes. I have also got um, a certificate created that is a fillable PDF. Now you can't edit it in here, but you can download this file. And if you download the file and uh, open up the certificate, then it is a fillable form. So, Students can then add their name and the date to it. So today's date is March the 4th. And then they can save this and they can print it and frame it, do whatever they want with it. So you have a certificate or a badge that, uh, that your students can claim. Well, how do we set it up so that they don't automatically have this? They have to earn it. Let's take a look at our modules area again. And we are going to look at this claim your badge or certificate module. I am going to publish it. You want it to be published for, uh, so that it is visible, but you want it to remain hidden until your students successfully complete this quiz. So I'm going to click on the three dots here, and I am going to edit this module. You'll notice that there are prerequisites and requirements. In this case, I want to add a prerequisite, and they are going to need to complete the week one module in order to get uh, access to this Badger certificate. So I will hit update the module here. I'm going to go back to week one. I'm going to add a requirement to this one. Edit. I will add a requirement, and they must complete 
the digital accessibility quiz and they must score at least three out of three in order to complete the module. So I will update that. So I have a requirement to complete module one. They have to successfully complete this quiz with a score of three out of three. If they successfully complete module one, uh, week one, then this module will become visible for them and they can claim their badge or their certificate. All right, let's take a quick look at what this would actually look like from a student's point of view. So I'm going to click on student view here now. And I'm going to scroll on down to week one. OK, so week one, they have to uh, successfully pass this. So I'm going to go through my module here. This is where I would have my objectives they would have to uh, complete this assignment. They would have to submit their discussion form, and then they get to this quiz, which has three questions. I'm going to take the quiz. So what should you do with your headings to make them uh, make your documents accessible? Well, you need to tag them as headings. If you embed an image for decorative purposes, well, you should tag it as decorative. And if you include an image with instructional content, you should include appropriate alt text with the image. Submit the quiz. I have now earned three out of three. I've got everything correct. So now if I go back to my modules area, you will see that this is now visible to me. It was invisible before, so I can now claim my badge or I can download my certificate, add my name to it, and print it and frame it.